All right, guys. How much more does Nico earn than Miley in one week? Okay, so Nico. So I'm going to come down here and I'm looking at Nico. I'm over here. Well, Nico earns, let's see. I'm going to come here. I'm going to say um, Nico. Okay, so Nico is $650.35. And then Miley, Millie. Miley. <laughs> if we had comments available on our YouTube video, there would be such a battle over that. <laughs> Miley <laughs> way to see that has $440. And 50 cents. So let's take a look at the question again. How much more does Nico earn than Miley in one week? Well, how much more? So that means I want to know how much more Nico earns. So the only way I can do that is to subtract. And I, w I always tell my kids, what are we looking for there? How much more? When you're looking for how much more something is than another, you're looking for the difference between the two numbers, right? Yeah. And we know that the difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. Yeah. So we are definitely going to subtract to find out how much more Nico has earned. So if I subtract, 5 minus 0 is still 5. And then what I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do, ooh, shoot, shucks, mm -hmm. and holy moly. Yep. I need to regrow. Don't subtract backwards. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, no, that isn't yeah. ever going to work. So I need to do, 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 I'm going to have to go all the way to the five. I'm going to have to make that a four. I'm going to make this a ten. But you know how it is with money. As soon as somebody finds out you have some, they want a piece of it. So I'm going to cross that off and make that a nine now. And make the 3 a 13. Okay, so 13 minus 5 is going to be 8. Are we in agreement there, Mr. Schmidt? I agree with that. Okay, and then I'm going to bring that down. Yep. And so now, we always have to keep our decimals lined up. Absolutely. 9 minus 0 is still 9. Okay, and then 4 minus 4. Ooh, 4 minus 4 means I have nothing there. Nothing. And then 6 minus 4 is 2. So, what? And, and I would just add that I always put my units, so I'd put a dollar sign in front of that. Absolutely. And so, what we have here is Nico has earned $209.85 more than Miley. In one week. In one week. Yeah. Thank you. So, let's just say per week. Okay, so now... And we could say per week more, maybe? All right, right? Jeez, I'm in need. Well, just to show that he earns that much yeah, more Yeah, everybody week. wants to rub it in that Nico earned a little more money. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so now, if we keep going, we can look at these here, and we can see if Taylor and Miley both work for two weeks, how much more will Taylor earn? So first thing that we're going to do here, we're not going to do all of this work because then shoot shucks and holy moly, you wouldn't have anything to do, right? We never want that. So what we're going to do is we are going to go over here to Miley and we're going to say that Miley, hmm, uh, Miley has earned... Um, Four hundred forty dollars and fifty cents. Well, I need to know how much that is for two weeks, right? So I can either add another four hundred forty fifty cents, or I could multiply that by two, right? And I'm going to do this part here for you, just to remind you how to use your decimal when you multiply. So two times zero is still zero. 2 times 5 is 10, so I can put down my 0 and carry my 1. 2 times 0 is 0, but I have 1. So 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is going to be 1. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 4 is 8. Oh, shoot, shucks, and holy moly. How do I do this? Remember, folks, 
the way that I decide where the decimal point is, is I say, well, how many digits are behind the decimal? And in this case, it is two. So I'm going to go one and two. And so my decimal goes right there. So that is how much money Miley makes in two weeks. So you are going to do the same thing with Taylor. So Taylor, um, right there. So Taylor is going to be 77125. And I'm doing that to make sure I write it down correctly. So $771.25. And I would multiply that by 2. Okay? So you would do the same thing. I'm not going to do that one because I want you to have something to do. But remember that when you are done, you're going to count the number of digits behind the decimal. Okay? So let's make that nice and chubby so you can see it. And then once you are done with that, it says if, if Taylor and Miley both work for two weeks, how much more will Taylor earn? How much more again? Mr. Schmidt, what did you say about that? Well, that means we're looking for the difference between the two amounts because we want to know how much more Taylor makes in two weeks than Miley does. And so we would have to. Yeah. So we're going to say whatever Taylor made, and then we're going to say whatever Miley made, and we're going to subtract. I'm going to let you guys do that. You'll figure out how much. We already know how much Miley makes. How much does Taylor make? Put the amount Taylor makes right here. The amount Miley made right here and then subtract. Now we all remember when we subtract with decimals, we definitely need to line them up. Okay, so make for sure that you line up your digits. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move down to C. Take a peek at that one. Whoa, holy mackerel. How much money will Pinky earn in a month? About how long will Millie have to work in work to earn the same amount. Woo! How much money will Pinky earn in a month? Well, Mr. Schmidt, I'm hoping that you will agree with me, but I'm just gonna call, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna say a month. I'm gonna say that it's going to equal, I'm gonna say four weeks. Is that okay with you? That's okay with me. And when I read this I, last night, I thought I would use a tape diagram to show the four weeks and then fill in the amount that that pinky earns each week into the tape diagram so that I could visualize it and then add them up. Okay. So, okay, so we can do that. So, let's do this here. Thinking of the CRA model concrete. Mm -hmm. I like your idea. Representational. So, let's and then make abstract. it into four. Daniel G, I know that you're not liking this, but you're going Why? to Daniel G does not like anything that has to do with models. Daniel G. Well, this is the is, representational part, I so know, it's important. I know, Daniel. Well, you can get past this, buddy. So, we have 1099 and 20 cents. This is just going to help some kids in my class who really like to do this type of model. Oh, I definitely yeah. have kiddos that yeah. like this. Daniel G, he just likes to do things his way, and I love Daniel G. That's what's cool about math. You can do it in lots of different ways. Yeah, absolutely. And I tell him, dude, if you have this, you go ahead. You know what's important to me. Okay, 1099 Okay. So, if we add all of these together... Or even multiply them. We right? could multiply. We could right? say 1,099.20 times how much, guys? One, two, three, four. It would be four, correct? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and do this here. So, I'm going to say 1,000... 99 and 20 cents. And I'm going to multiply this one times 4. Ooh. I forgot what I was doing. I was trying to make a multiplication sign. Okay, 4 times 0 is still 0, right, guys? 
four times two is eight. Mr. Schmidt, you check my work because my kids know, boy, <laughs> I can get crazy. Four times nine is 36. Carry my three. Four times nine is still 36, but I need to add that three. 36, 37, 38, 39. And I'm going to carry my three again. Four times zero is zero, but I have three more. So zero plus three is three. And four times one is four. Okay. So let's see. Pinky has earned, oh shoot, shucks yeah. and holy moly. I, I have to add to that in. decimal. <laughs> okay. So we remember what I said. How many digits behind the decimal? In this case, it's two. So I'm going to go one, two. So I'm going to put my decimal right there, nice and big, so everybody can see it. Okay, so Pinky earned $4,396.80 in four weeks. So now what we need to do is we need to come over and we need to think about Millie. So I'm, ooh, shoot, I need to put something over here. This is Pinky. Okay. And so let's come over here and let's call Millie, or I'm sorry, Miley. And so Miley, what was it that Miley earned? Oh, shoot, shucks. And okay, I remember. Okay, so I'm going to draw one out here for her. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that Miley earned $440.50. Four hundred forty dollars and fifty cents. Four hundred forty dollars and fifty cents. Four hundred forty dollars and fifty cents. Okay, so again, you have the option of multiplying uh, four hundred forty dollars fifty cents times four, or you can add them all up. You know what, guys? Man, I'm gonna tell you straight out. If it was me. I would multiply because adding all of that together, I could totally get lost. And I could be three or four days away. So, I think that maybe we should multiply. So, I'm going to say $440.50. Oop, got to make that decimal a little better. Okay. Times four. Okay. And that's going to be a zero. Four times five is 20. So I'm going to put a zero and carry my two. Four times zero is zero, but two more is still two. Four times four is 16. Six, carry my one. Four times four is 16 plus one more is 17, correct? Am I correct so far, Mr. Schmidt? It looks good so far. Now we okay. just have to check the decimal. Okay, so... Again, two digits behind, so one, two. So it's going to go right there. Putting it up there high so we can see it. Okay, so this is what we have here. So how many weeks will Millie need to work yeah. in order to do this? And it says about how long, so... Yeah, so we can see that her four weeks... And Pinky's four weeks are something totally different, right? So, I'm going to go back to Millie's one week because this answer right here tells me, I double-checked it, and it is totally, totally different and a long ways apart, right? Almost like four. Yeah, maybe three apart. That's a lot. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to rethink this situation and I'm going to go back to, to Miley's $440.50. Okay, because I can see these are a long ways apart and that's not going to really work out. So, $440 to $4,000. That's quite a bit, Mr. Schmidt. Yeah. What do you think we should multiply it by? Well, I'm noticing that four, three, nine, six, those digits mm -hmm. are really close to four, four, zero. I know, right? So I'm thinking that since it says about, I think if we multiplied times 10, we would I, come really you know close what? to I'm that. I'm thinking so. I'm thinking so. 
So if I multiply that by 10, let's see how close we can get, guys. So 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 5 is 0. 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 4 is 0. 0 times 4 is 0. Hmm. And then, so I'm done with my 1s, correct? So I'm going to put a placeholder for my 10s. And so 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 4 is 4. I don't know, Mr. Schmidt. I'm thinking this is looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying 0, 0, 5. 0, 4, 4. Now remember, we've got to put in our decimal. We can't forget that. So it's two places behind. Okay, so I have $4,405, 4396 Is that pretty close? That's really close. All right, so I'm going to say for this problem here, how many weeks did Miley have to work? 10. So let's go ahead and write that down because Miley needs to work about 10 weeks. And you know what, guys? While you're watching these videos, if you don't want to know the answer right away, just pause the video while we're working it out. And see, if, and see if you can solve it and then check your answer by continuing the video. To make about the same amount as Tinky. And we know this is the important part. We have to be able to explain it. Okay? So, we did this one here. We did this one here for you. So, that one was pretty sweet. But remember, you definitely have to finish up B by yourself, okay? All right. So, now, we're going to go ahead and scroll on down. Now, these ones here, we definitely are not going to do all of these for you. So. You guys did problems similar to this yesterday or the day before, right? Yeah, we yeah. certainly did. So, all this one... And so we have different, it says solve using any strategy. So we, this one here, I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to set it up for you. We can just do two and four tenths plus one and eight tenths. And we can go ahead and do that. Ah, do we need to put a zero here, Mr. Schmidt, when we add? Well, the fact that they did, I would say that's two and 40 hundredths, which is the same thing as two and four tenths. Yeah. And you you can have one there. The, ma the main thing is to line up the decimals. Absolutely. I like to put the zero in there just because mm -hmm. I think it makes my students feel more comfortable. Yeah. So we can definitely do that. Or sometimes we even use grid paper when we're handling decimals to keep them lined up. Yeah. And so we have that one. And I'm going to let you guys do the rest of them. But I'm going to come down here and I'm going to take a peek at this one here. Because it says to use any strategy, and I think that we should consider using something different. So we have 75 and 604, let's count this, tenths, hundredths, thousands. So 75 and 604 thousands plus 22 and 296 thousands, 296 thousands, okay. So, one way to consider this would be to add our whole numbers together. So, I'm going to think, this is just a strategy. You can just line them up and add them, and that's still definitely correct, as long as you line up your decimals. In my class, you guys know what we would call this. We would call it decomposing, right? Breaking it apart? Mm-hmm, definitely. So, we are definitely going to do that. We have our whole numbers right here. Now, let's go ahead and, and break up our tenths. So we can just add our tenths, but we want to definitely have our decimal there because we want to show that it's a tenth and not a whole number. So six tenths plus two tenths, okay? And let's go ahead and do it like this, okay? And then for our next one, we could do, um, let's see, do, 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 six tenths, okay? And then... 
um, let's see, we could do our hundredths. Well, for in this case here, our hundredths would be um, 0 0.00, because there is no hundredths. There is there. Plus 9 hundredths. So point zero 0.09. We could do that. Boy, we're definitely stretching it, huh, guys? Plus um, our thousandths, which is four thousandths, so decimal zero, zero, four, and then plus six thousandths. So we're going to put a decimal there, and then six, zero, okay, six thousandths. Okay, so that one's a busy one, right? So let's go ahead and add these up. So this is just another... A uh, fancy strategy that you can use to scare your teacher. <laughs> or to impress your parents. Yeah. So, 7 and 2, that's going to be 9, and that's 9. Okay, so we have this one under control. Okay. So it's 99 plus 6 tenths plus 2 tenths. 6, 7, 8. It's still under 10, so we're in good shape. So we have 8 tenths, correct? Awesome. Now, so that one is done. Then we can come over here. We have 0 plus 9. That's not changing anything, is it, guys? This is still 9 hundredths. So I'm going to go ahead and put that 9 in the hundredths place. So I have decimal tenths hundredths, so it's in the right place. Okay, awesome. And then I have over here, I have four thousandths plus six thousandths. Whoa, Mr. Schmidt, I hit yeah. a big buggy here. Yeah, you're going to have oh, to regroup. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so that would be ten thousandths. Can't do it, can I? Plus, okay, so plus, I'm going to say ten thousandths, which equals what? One hundred. 100. Okay, so holy smoke. So I'm going to need to take these ones down here, say 99. I'm going to need to do this here. 89 plus um, 100. Okay. Okay, so put that zero there, and then I'm going to say 9 plus 1 is going to be 10. Add it up there, and that's going to be a 9. And then I'm going to say 9 and 9. So. It ended up being, the whole thing ended up being 99 and 9, what, everybody? 9 tenths. And there we are. So that is just another crazy, 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 crazy method of getting the same thing as just adding them up. Okay? Are we in agreement? We're in agreement. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Okay. So, again, that was just a funky way of doing it. You have nothing but time on your hands, guys. Do it. Okay, Mr. Schmidt, would you like to take a couple of these ones? Okay. Awesome. All right. So, really, do you think, after the ones we've done so far, do you think they'll still need help on this page? Not really. It looks the same. I mean, they already have the... Three through eight are already lined up with the decimals, right? So I would just maybe like maybe nine, ten, or eleven, show, reminding them how to line yeah. them up. I yeah. think that's probably sweet yeah. enough because we want them to have something to do, Mister Schmidt. Yeah. So I'm looking at number eleven has a regrouping, so I'll work on that one. So we have three and eight hundredths plus. Plus one in sixty four hundred. Yes. Good job, Mr. Schmidt. And I have my decimals lined up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and add a decimal right there because I know it'll stay there. So I have eight hundredths plus four hundredths, and that equals twelve hundredths, which is two hundredths with a tenth here. Right? Eight plus yeah. four equals twelve. So I regroup my one. And now I have one plus six. One tenth plus six tenths equals seven tenths and then I have the ones column three plus one equals four so even though we had to regroup that was still really simple and you guys should be perfectly capable of doing that page on your own well boy Mr. Schmidt he's hard-nosed isn't he guys <laughs> yeah but I know you can handle this because you guys are fifth graders 
Okay, so now we're going to go to this one here. I love these pages, don't you guys? These are sweet. So it says draw pictures, solve, and show uh, your work. Use any strategy and write a story. So um, draw a picture. I did mine. I'm thinking that it would be pretty easy. So I'm going to help you with this part right here, just my idea. But then I'm going to really kind of let you guys handle the rest. So up here at the top, I decided that, hey, we're all on lockdown. And I don't know about you, but I'm sick of my cooking. So I'm thinking about a hamburger and a soda. So Mr. Schmidt's looking at my smoke soda and hamburger like, what? Yeah, I'm looking at the hamburger like, that looks like a submarine sandwich to me. <laughs> hey, I like big hamburgers. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to put some lettuce on here. Okay, so I got some lettuce, and then I got a big old piece of hamburger patty. We're going to call that a one-pounder hamburger. And then we're going to have, oh, I'm going to have a little a little bun down here because you guys know I'm on a diet. Okay, and that one's going to be about $3.58 because that sounds reasonable to us, right? Okay, may not be to anybody else, but it does to me. So now I'm going to draw my soda. And that's the bottom of it. Hey, I'm not a great artist. Hush your breath. Okay. And then, okay, so my soda better have some little sparkling stuff on top of it or it's not a good soda. And then I'm going to say, well, okay, so I'm going to say my soda is going to be $1.57. Well, that's highway robbery, isn't it? Well... It says one dollar and forty-seven cents, right? I think she just oh! said fifty-seven cents. Oh, because I know yeah. where I shop, and yeah. boy, they want to call stuff <laughs> expensive. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mister Schmidt. Okay, so I have these. So I've drawn my picture over here. I'm going to solve my work. So how would I find out how much uh, the combo cost? So I'm going to say the combo equals. So how much is my combo going to cost? We all know we're going to add them together. Okay. Yeah. And then it says use any strategy. You can stretch it out. You can decompose the numbers if you want to. Um, you can do it any way you want. You definitely don't have to make it as difficult as I did the last time because that was kind of crazy. Um, you might say $1.47 and uh, plus uh, $3.58. Sense. And like we did the other day, um, add your um, change first. And then um, once you have that all under control, add it to your whole numbers. So you can guys can do that. And then you can write a story about it over here. Um, yes. We went to the restaurant and Mrs. Schmidt bought a hamburger, a big juicy hamburger that was $3.58. And she bought one for Mr. Schmidt that cost one dollar and forty seven cents and he got he felt really cheated. Yeah. Or you can write any kind of story that you want. And Mrs. Schmidt stole Mr. Schmidt's French fries and he's still crying about yes. it. Yes. Anyway. So that takes us to the end of day three. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh the two of us together today. It has definitely been fun, even though we complained and carried on about Millie and Miley. Yeah. Uh, we I know, know I know most Millie. of you would back me up. <laughs> it's Millie, but hey, whatever. That's not how I would spell Millie. Uh, okay, so <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please look at the video. But as <coughs> Mr. Schmidt said, you know, try and do it yourself first and then just use our video as a backup tool. So have a great day, guys. Take care.